I'm sure you know that Paul the apostle was not in the upper room when the Holy Ghost fell. Yet he had a man by the name Luke, physician, medical doctor, who was his scribe and writer, who wrote the treatise of Acts of the Apostles. Why will Paul know how the Holy Ghost fell when he wasn't there? Light, insight, revelation. How did he know the details of the, of the crucifixion? And then went into the grave and saw what happened under the, the belly of the earth. And saw the resurrection. While James and John and all of them were there, they didn't know what was going on. Paul, who wasn't there, knew. Then Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 and 2 Timothy, Titus, writing all the way to the book of Hebrews. Only you took almost two thirds of the New Testament and left the rest. So he came to the point where he agreed to die before he died. You see, I am in a strait between two, having a desire to be in this world and that desire to go. But let me remain here for your sake. In this case, the devil notwithstanding, I am the one making this choice. Did you hear what I said? The devil, hear me. I have decided to remain. In case you are angry, try me. That's what Paul was saying. When they stoned him, he stood up. The, the brethren stood around him. He woke up. He said, oh boss, what's happening? Let's go to the next towns, man. <laughs> Do you know what happened when he wanted to die? I am now ready. That was how he put it. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 6. I am now ready to be offered. I want to die now. Before now, I, I didn't want to die. And I, did, I was the nightmare of the spirit of death. But I am now ready to be offered. Old man must die. And I prefer to die a martyr's death so that my reward can be double. I can die naturally in my sleep, but let them kill me. So that I can have the reward. I can, I can have the reward of being killed for the gospel. Though I don't need to live again because there is no assignment I want to do anymore. I have finished my course. If you keep me here now, you are wasting my time. Eh? I finished my course. I passed anatomy, passed physiology, passed biochemistry, passed pharmacology, passed pharmacognosis, passed medicine, passed surgery, passed everything. I have finished the course. Don't keep me on campus. I want to graduate. <laughs> and I want to go to the other side. And I don't want to die in my sleep. Let them kill me. So I can receive more reward for being killed for the gospel. <laughs> they could have killed him young, but he refused. I cannot die young. I must die as an old man. <laughs> you have a choice in the matter. And today, I announce to somebody here, the word, the word, the word, the word of the Lord is building in you strength, building in you health, building in you vitality, and no devil can take you out before your time. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Shout the loudest, amen. amen. Lift your right and say in the name of Jesus, I receive supernatural strength now. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat. Let me say one more because of time. I had two more to say, but because of time, I'll, I'll end it with one more. Access to the voice of God. Access to supernatural strength. Finally, access to the life and spirit of God. Access to the life and spirit of God. The word of God connects you to the life of God. It is the spirit that quickened. John chapter 6 verse 63. The words I speak to you, they are spirit. 
and their life. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 2. As he spake, the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me. And the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet. When he spake. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 to 7. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3 to 7. He said, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Whereby he has given us exceeding great and precious promises that by these promises we might be partakers of the divine nature, the life of God. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. First, now John chapter 5 verse 24. John 5 and in verse 24. You know what he said? Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me, he has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Is somebody here today? Hmm. Philippians chapter 2 and in verse 16, he said, holding forth the word of life. The word of life. The word of life. First John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, he said, that which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have handled of the word of life. Hmm. The word. Now, can I ask you a question? I know there are science students here. When you break down carbohydrate, what do you get? Hmm? Glucose and what else? Glucose and water. When you break down protein, what do you have? Amino acids. That is when you eat um, granite and you eat um, beans. When you break down fat, what do you have? Fat, f f lipids, fatty acids, and so on. When you break down word, eh? when you break down word, many things come. No, the rema is the broken down word. When you break down word, apart from the strength and power and the voice you have the broken down word is called zoe yes, the life of god <laughs> the word i speak unto you they are spirit and zoe masha <laughs> koko Holding forth the word of Zoe. What is that? It is the quality and durability of the life of God. That, 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 whatever makes God, God. Is inside Zoe. It is quality life on earth. And durable life in eternity. Dieless life. That is the life that makes you unoppressible. Alright. That Zoe life is what gives you spiritual intensity. It's what increases spiritual vibrancy. It's what gives you that passion for God. It's what it was deep, call it unto the deep. It's what makes you want to hang around God. Dog, hang around dog. Huh? 
and I, I hate dog life. I, I like the way they live, but dog life is not good. Dog gave birth to a child. And the baby of that dog gave birth to a child for his father. Dog does not know limit at all. Common sense should have showed it that this is the baby you gave birth to last time. No matter how, no matter how you hold him. <laughs> Praise God. Lions hang around lions. Zebras hang around zebras. Kangaroos hang around kangaroos. Monkey hang around monkey. When the life of God steps into you continuously, you want to hang around God. Spirituality becomes natural. Uh, spirituality becomes natural. Spirit, spiritual things become effortless. You, you are not forced to fast or pray or study or evangelize. They are natural because the broken down word the rema is communicating permanently zoe into your spirit into your system so you have the life of god on the earth and by the time you live right and die and go to eternity that same life takes you through eternity do you know what zoe does for you again supernatural existence your handshake can mean healing to somebody That boy that testified just now, it was at the exit there we met. And it wasn't up to how many minutes that committing devil of insanity go to hell. Person who has not eaten for one week. Your, 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 your climate can mean, can, can exude supernatural aura. Something about you and around you begins to produce the extra natural naturally. Stand up on your feet. One day we traveled and we're in a house. I laid on the couch. My driver then was on the on the rug together. And he rolled and touched the tip of my leg un unconsciously. Bam! Electricity flowed into his body. He said he had symptoms that I was not aware of. The symptoms dried up on the spot. We met a lady at Ibadan Airport with pelvic fracture. And she came to where I was and she said, Sir, can you just say a word of blessing to me? I said, you are blessed. Fracture adjusted itself. He sent back to my PA later. I said, you, you, don't, you don't know what happened to me. That word that the pastor gave to me, that you are blessed, healed me of pelvic fracture on the spot. I was at Lagos Airport. I saw a man with a collar, neck collar on the neck. I said, can I assist you take that thing off? I am anointed to remove it. <laughs> he said, really? I said, yes. It's okay. Come. What happened to you? It's a story. Bam. Take off. Move it. Fine. God bless you. See you later. I was on the road in Abuja here. Saw somebody moving on crutch. crutch. Driver, stop. Excuse me, ma. I can assist you with the crutches. I carry it for you. Really? Yes. Jesus' name, move. So put the crutch on your shoulder and walk back home. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Roadside. He 
Is God speaking to anybody at all? Zoe life communicates into you supernatural existence. You can't step into an interview and they say they fail you. Except it's not your job. Except the work is not your work. One lady left and went for an interview. And they were interviewing people. And they said, what certificates do you have? He said, I have O level. I have A level. Now, the only certificate which she had was GC, school certificate. So, which one is this? It says it's called Dunami School of Ministry. This is maturity training course. This is, and he brought out foundation class, maturity class. Dunami, see, only you have all these certificates. They say, please join us and interview the other people with us. Got the job and then became an interviewer of other people, determining other people's destiny right there. Somebody say loud, amen. amen. Somebody say louder, amen. amen. Now, you don't need to be a pastor to, to have the supernatural, you only need to be a person because the driver whose vehicle you are entering may be a wizard. Whose assignment is to kill everybody he is carrying. <laughs> the midwife coming to take the labor, the, 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 the delivery may be a witch. Whose assignment is to take newborn babies. So you need to be loaded. Wired. So that when you are, if the driver says, I won't carry this passenger. And of course, driver, you know, if anybody would die, you are a witch, you are the one to die. Only you. You need it. You need word of knowledge to know who is a friend and who is not a friend. You need the gift of discernment and revelation. Somebody came to talk. Somebody talked to me against somebody. Against somebody else. How that person is not a good person and so on. And that person did that and that. In order to cut me away from that or cut that person away from me and then I and, and I saw shortly that that person who came to cut this one away has become the best friend of that one of, I mean very very neat so I tell the guy I say really may you ask God to show you who is who Because not everybody who smiles for you has your interest. I, I called the guy. I said, because I'm, I'm, I, I'm not a child, so I won't be mentioning names. Said, you, need, you need sensitivity and discernment. There are houses you won't live in if you knew. There are relationships you won't enter into if you knew. That Zoe, supernatural life, is communicated to us by the word. You will not miss it another time. Amen. I wish that that amen can be louder. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Amen. Take your seat one minute. Let me say one more thing and then we shall be closing. Conclusion for tonight. Stay with the word. Number one, stay with the word to stay with profit. Stay with the word to stay away from losses. Again, stay with the word to stay with profit. Stay with the word to stay away from losses. Another conclusion of note is when the devil wants to destroy a spiritual life he makes people to become too busy for God and for his word when the devil wants to destroy a spiritual life 
He makes people to become too busy for God and for his word. Ensure, be determined that no devil will make you too busy for God or too busy for the word. Finally, organize your life's schedule around time with God and his word. Organize your life's schedule around time with God and time with his word. You don't come to the point where you are so busy you couldn't eat food. That's disastrous. You don't come to the point where you are too busy you couldn't even look into the world. At least, that's disastrous. It's a new day for you. It's a new day for you. Has God spoken to anybody here tonight? Stand up on your feet with a louder shout of Amen. amen. Loud most shout of Amen.